Key research in the Department of Chemistry focuses on issues that affect the environment. Researchers are working on the creation of new, energy-efficient and environmentally friendly batteries, figuring out the impact nanoparticles have on the environment, and capturing excess carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. These are just some of our scientists' important research initiatives. Solar cells made of plastic, improved rechargeable batteries and supercapacitors, these are very real possibilities with some of our breakthrough research. One of the things that excites me most about our research is that all this technology enables us to watch molecules do their business in real time. And it turns out they, they do their business on really, really fast time scales. And we can now watch them doing their business as it happens. So things like breaking chemical bonds, making chemical bonds, energy hopping between different molecules, and we can see it happen as it takes place. One of the things we work on right now is related to solar cells and how we can make them out of plastic. And so we use these lasers to learn how energy hops around in the plastic, how electrons separate from those molecules, and that allows us to make uh, potentially a better solar cell. One of the most exciting things we've been doing lately is developing a class of materials called ion gels, which are combinations of ionic liquids and block polymers. The block polymers self-assemble in the ionic liquid and make a very soft solid which can be used in organic electronics. So we've been using these as a component in organic transistors. And what we find is that the performance of these ion gels is far superior to anything else that's been used in this particular application. The students in my research lab design syntheses for materials that are nanostructured or nanoporous, where we can control the feature sizes on many length scales, starting from the small molecule to several nanometers to the bulk length scale. One of the applications that we are looking at revolve around electrical energy storage materials, such as rechargeable batteries and supercapacitors. By controlling the structure of the materials, we can hopefully tune how much charge can be stored, how long batteries will last, how fast you can recharge them. Hopefully that we can go from recharge time of an hour to just a few minutes. Two important issues for our researchers are understanding the impact of nanoparticles on our health and the environment, and if it is possible to capture excess carbon dioxide in our atmosphere. One of the areas that we do research in is examining fate and transport of nanoparticles in environmental systems. Nanoparticles are very sticky. They stick to each other, they stick to other things. So how they stick to aquifer materials, for example, or suspended materials in a river, for example, turns out to be very important to how these materials move through the environment. We need to understand where they're going to go and how long they're going to be there in order to predict potential human health impacts as well as other ecological impacts. At the moment, uh, we are working on a really exciting project, which is trying to design uh, new materials uh, that can be employed to capture uh, carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide pollutes the atmosphere. It, presents, it represents a very serious uh, problem for our planet, our society. So what we do, we try to invent new materials that will capture the excess of uh, carbon dioxide or CO2 that is present in the atmosphere. It's very exciting because so there is this uh, very important social aspect in our work. We are trying to be predictive, which means discover new material and uh, uh, its properties before the material is made. We can help our colleagues who work in the laboratory and tell them you should look for this material rather than another one because uh, it has these uh, uh, promising properties. By daring to be innovative, by working together to seek new solutions, our researchers are making strides to solving some of our most important human health, energy, and environmental problems.